Hello and welcome to the tutorial by me, David, from Peripheral Games. And today, I want to um, just follow up on my previous tutorial about doing 2D and Unity because um, some people asked me about um, whether your image has to be square. And in my case, my PG image was square. And that's not really, it, it, it can be other shapes. Oops, sorry about that. Um, it can be other shapes, but um, the plane that you put it on, which I'm just trying to make this bigger, the plane that you put it on is square as well. So if you put an image on that isn't square onto a square plane, obviously the plane is going to squash it and you're going to get a squashed image. And there's a few other things I just want to um, do again. So um, first thing we're going to do is um, I've just made in paint a really simple stick man with a non-square image, which you can see here. And I've just imported this in here. Another thing that I said last time is you need to um, increase the size of your thing so it's it's um, see I made mine 500 by 500 if you're doing pixel art you don't need to do that I was wrong 16 by 32 um, I don't know if you can see that 16 by 32 is the size of the image here and that is because it is um, actually just go up to texture type here in the top and go to advanced non power of two you want to change to none and click apply and see that turns in 20 to 30 which is what it is you want to um, uncheck generate map maps and you want to change the filter mode to point see where it says bilinear or trilinear you want to change it to point click apply and that will fix it so you can now have much smaller image sizes and um, and they not get blurred which again means very good thing for your game now the second thing is a nice company, a small company that made um, uh, Snuggle Trucks, Alchemy Labs. They've given me permission to um, do a little tutorial on how to use their tool, which solves this problem about the, the plane not being square. So if you just open up uh, a web browser there and go to alchemylabs.com, and there you go, Snuggle Trucks. Open the top here, content, you want to go there and Scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see this script that says texture size to transform. This is what you're going to use. So right click on the link and click save link as. And just click OK. Downloads really quickly. And then just import this into Unity. Like that. OK. Perfect. There's the script. Now what you need to do is create a folder. Call it editor. A high level one the highest level folder you can get so not under anything and drag the script into there like that and that's pretty much it um, you can see it's coming up here if you go to tools up in your your toolbar here tools scale to texture size is control T so now what you want to do is go to our plane here and I'm just gonna I've got a material set up here which is an unlit transparent shader let me just make that apparent and just drag that material onto here and there's my man as you can see he's not blurred those are the pixels exactly as there without having to increase the size of the of the texture and obviously as you can see from paint he has been um, squashed because the plane is a square and he's not a square so click on the plane in the scene view and just press control T bang that's it it's done now if you want you can just scale it down a bit and that's it. That is what you can see if you just look here. It's resized the plane to the same aspect ratio, the same, well, yeah, the, the same aspect ratio as uh, the texture. So what you get is a perfectly shaped texture. So for anyone that wanted to know why um, their non-square images weren't working, there's your answer. And again, thanks to Alchemy Labs for letting me uh, do this tutorial with their tool, which is a fantastic tool that was used in. Um, uh, snuggle trucks and it is a really fantastic tool for 2d so thanks to them and goodbye for now